Global happenings today. We communicate. We analyze global news. Stay tuned. Hello, beautiful people. Welcome to Global Happenings Today. What started as a more of political um, awareness, a more of trying to, you know, become politically smart by Chief Raf Wazurike, the leader of uh, Masob, has turned and gone against him, whereby his kinsmen, his elders, and the Southeast in general may be having one on one conflict with him. To say that you are deserting your own people, that, that is an understatement. Judging by what is going to, what is going on and what the South Eastern leaders have in stock for him. Well, before we go to the news proper, like you subscribe to our channel by clicking on the red subscribe button. Beside it, you see a bell notification icon. Please go ahead, click on it to get notified as soon as you update our channel on YouTube. Where the Igbo Elders Consultative Forum. The Igbo's Elders Consultative Forum, otherwise known as IECF, has summoned the leader of the movement for the actualization of the sovereign state of Biafra, Masob Chief Raf Owazurike, to explain his alleged decision to betray the Igbo cause for the presidency. This comes days after the Masob leader endorsed Governor Yahaya Bello of Kogi State for the 2023 presidency. Report has it that Masob leader had agreed to appear before the Igbo elders to give reasons why he should not be punished for his action. Last Saturday, Wazurike, who is also the leader of the Biafran Independence Movement, I, that's BIM, BIM, downplayed the call for a Nigerian president of Igbo extraction. Wazurike said he did not believe in the idea of Igbo presidency, stressing that such should be discarded. He had, however, thrown his weight behind the presidential aspiration of Bello, Yahaya Bello, saying he did not believe in zoning and power rotation. Wazuriki urged Nigerians to shun zoning because it had no place in the country's constitution. According to Wazuriki, zoning leads to sectionalism of some regions of the country. He said, he had said, and I quote, I don't believe in the idea of zoning system or Igbo precedent because zoning means sectionalism. According to Wazurike, if Nigerian sovereignty must be upheld, zoning should be discarded. If we want to talk about Nigeria, we must throw the presidential contest open. But if you throw it open, it must be for the youth, not elders, because the elders have failed us. A source in IECF said that Uwazurike had agreed to honor the invitation of Igbo elders. The source said, anyway, we are, we are handling it. We have invited him for questioning and he has agreed to come. And he may face serious punishment if he doesn't show remorse and give valid defense. A former governor of Old Anambra State, Dr. Chukwe Mekaizife, and the former chairman of Police Service Commission, Simon Okeke, popularly called Ochendo, were the persons who went and released Uwazurike from prison. They are the leaders of IECF. They brought him out from prison. He has agreed to appear before the Igbo elders. Bakam, you know some of these things sometimes, whenever I want to do some certain things, don't think of the now. Think of the tomorrow. For better understanding of where I'm heading to, check our feed, our playlist. You see, we are at one of the Northern Elders Forum. One of the elder statesmen of the Northern Elders Forum, ADF, said something unique in a video. He just told it blatantly. He said, why should they hand over power? Why should they force them, cajole them, subjugate them to go for a second position when they can actually become the first when they can actually become the president why should they go for the vice president when they have the, the, the numbers they have the people that it's not fair that they should be thinking of zoning so they should throw it open since they have the numbers they should, why should they always be going for second position when they can always always keep the power to themselves that if they threw that if they drew it that way then they should all quit they should leave nigeria they would like to leave nigeria because power belongs to them now if you hear that coming from another now another elite not just another but another elite an elder statesman it really gives an idea 
of what we are having here and someone not just from the south but a southeast who for whatever reasons decided to go against his people even though he has been one of those people supposedly championing for the Biafran cause and diamond it when all roads everyone is championing for southeast um Igbo of a uh, uh, presidency from southeastern extraction something that has never happened since democracy began in Nigeria. And even elder statesmen like uh, Edwin Clark and Paddy Banjo and the rest have been speaking vehemently over this matter, insisting for equity, for fairness, for justice. Someone from the South should at least, even if it's just a term, let them out on that seat first. So that you can now talk about the issue of reintegration. You can talk of the issue of um, that issue of marginalization can be expunged once and for all. Even Ade Yonju, the Jade Yonju said it point and plain. He said, look, if you do not want the Indigos in, you don't want them to become president, why not let them go? And then you said, if there's anybody that should, this should be the time for the South Easterners to mouth on that seat. But if you, you are not willing to give them that seat, let them go. Even the likes of Prophet again, like, he's not an Igbo man. Prophet again, for better, check our playlist, you see where Prophet again, like, let it bear. Opened his mind and spoke as a Nigerian first, not as a prophet now, but as a Nigerian, because as a Nigerian, he has every right to freedom of speech and freedom of expression. And he expressed himself without being, without like Kenus as being God, knowing fully whether he's not even an evil man. And he said, Look, can we not do this? You keep saying they shouldn't do this. They keep crying marginalization. You do not want them to uh, sit on that set of presidency, yet you do not want them to go. It's just a matter of time. On the, on the, premise of equity fairness and justice if there's anyone that should be mounted on that seat now judging the fact that agitation have gotten to a different dimension is out is right now they should be them it should be them if if others have mounted that seat if others have come and campaigned and south easterners gave them their support and vote what is wrong with the south eastern mountain on that seat now why not try them for just a term? I'm not trying to, you know, you know, propagate for them. I just say, just try them for a term. If they perform, why not even? I believe that there are good hands everywhere in every section. But then for equity's sake, because Nigeria is made up of nations within a nation. I will explain. Nations within a nation, Yoruba itself, it's a nation of its own. All right. In fact, when you find the Nigeria should have been United States or United Nations of Nigeria, you know, to tell you how nations are within a nation. All right. Um, Arawa, the north of its own, they have theirs. We have the Ijo, the Shakiri. Then we have the Igbos. All right. We also have the uh, Kalabari. And uh, if you want to judge it, put it into one. In fact, South South alone, we can bring our nations. Enough nations, myriads of nations, but we're all living in one place called Nigeria. Don't you think, for equity's sake, everyone that should be, all hands should be on deck to make this country work on the promises of equity? Well, let's meet in that conversation. What's a take on the fact that Uwazurike himself decided to throw it all open and said, Why should you be thinking of zoning? He does not even believe in evil presidency. Give it to another for the Indibos.